Hi everybody, so I'm currently here in Taiwan. I'm actually in Tainan at the Tainan Chezhan. As you can see, very Taiwanese. And uh, we are about to, this is my friend David. Are you a doctor yet? Not yet. Not okay, yet. are you a last year medical student? Uh, actually last month. Last month, yeah, same yeah. here, same here. I'm gonna ride his motorcycle. All right, so let's go to, yeah, so you were just explaining about the accidents in Tainan. The traffic in Tainan is yeah. actually, uh, the traffic goes slow, but everyone is not going with the rules. Uh -huh. So, uh, traffic accident everywhere, but yeah. no major traumas. And so you were talking about in your ER experience? Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. especially when it's on Monday or, or on Fridays. Uh -huh. Yeah. A lot of Mondays they always thinking about not going to work and they would think about other things about their happy weekends. Uh, okay. And Fridays they are always thinking the weekend is coming. <laughs> so traffic so, accident. So that's where the traffic yeah. accident. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so which one's your motorcycle? Uh the small one. Okay, yeah. alright. Alright, so is is, is this the mode of transportation of most medical students in Thailand? Actually Tainan? most uh, like, and most doctors? No, actually not doctors because they have seen already enough traffic accidents. <laughs> okay. So, actually, they didn't okay. ride. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put on my uh, helmet to make sure we practice good safety habits. Uh, yeah, so I'm just riding on the motorcycle with my friend David. Uh, no, no, do not look at the camera, David. I, I'll, only, I'll just look at the camera. <laughs> and, uh, Okay, wow. ladies and gentlemen, we are now going pretty fast, but we're slowing down. <laughs> pretty fast. I mean, 40 is like uh, 25 miles per hour. Oh, we were only going 25 miles per hour? We were thinking we were going like 40 miles per hour. We uh, were going 40 miles per hour? No. Okay. <laughs> you get bluff. It's not a very stable it, bike. It felt like 50 miles per hour from my side, so <laughs> as I'm clutching uh, David's shoulders. <laughs> this is okay, so this is the National Chen Kong University Medical School. Actually, this is the best view. This is the best view? Okay. Of, uh, of my medical college. Yes. NCKU means success in Chinese. So it's one of only two universities in Taiwan that have that's a complete university with law, medicine, engineering, business, and the sciences. So that's what I know. All right, so now turning to the expert, Dr. Yang here. For? For the medical school, yes. For medical school? Yes. It's actually a very young medical school. It's established for only 20 years. So David, what do you? <laughs> what's your favorite part of uh, being being at National Chengdu University? Uh, to be to be a medical school student in Chengdu University is is a very young team, and mm -hmm. there's no traditions, mm -hmm. no bounds, mm -hmm. and everyone is willing to teach, mm -hmm. and everyone is willing to learn. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's so, the best part of it. So more creativity, more openness. Yes. Willing to explore new, new, new boundaries, new territories. Yeah. yeah. That's great, that's, man. That's the best part, I think. We were just talking about... So you you guys have to do a OSCE examination. Yeah, experimental. It's not standard yet. Yeah. So what, what do you guys have to test right now? About uh, the communication mm -hmm. to the patients and the skill of explanation mm -hmm. and other part is like differential diagnosis of mm -hmm. disease mm -hmm. you've seen from a patient mm -hmm. or some skills you have to mm -hmm. have mm. like follies yeah. or sutures yeah I thought that was very interesting because in the United States at least in medical school there's no national examination for looking at suturing and putting in Foley catheters none of the technical aspects yeah, but you guys... We are going to uh, make it happen in probably two years. So, so they'll, pit, they'll put a fake arm in front of you? Yep. And then you guys will need to practice your suturing? Yes. And they're going to evaluate you? Yes. Oh, that's really interesting. Okay, so David, you're on. So where are we? We're in Zin's Garden. It's uh, actually in Chinese and English.
English they have uh, different explanations. Uh -huh. In Chinese, about uh, you stay here and think about all the things you've been through the day, and actually it's quite different in English because it's only make it a dean's garden, so it's probably owned by the dean. Oh, okay, so in English it's called dean's garden, but in Chinese it's dean's garden. It has uh, okay. It has yeah, connotations yeah. of meditation, yes. reflectiveness, and contemplation. Sort of. That. Okay. Yeah. So where do you guys study? Do you study here? No, actually, we study other places. Yeah. Yeah. Like where? In the library. Library. Okay. Yeah, there is a library just over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, with a yellow light. Oh, just right there. Yeah. So we are now at the medical library. So is this your favorite place to study? Used to be. Used to be? Yeah, and now we're in... Uh, Who, who's that gentleman right there? Huang Yan. Who is Huang Yan? Uh, he's the one who established Chen Kong University oh. Medical College. Oh, okay. So this is the Chinese translation of the Hippocratic Oath. We're right outside the... Library, yes. Okay, so we're at Starbucks right now, but we're on our way to Night Market. So I've been to Night Market. Do you do you go to Night Market often? Oh, uh, not actually, because uh, I got phone calls. Okay, sure. Night Market. Okay, this is the Night Market, uh, and apparently this is one of the smaller ones. Yeah, well, the smaller one. Okay, all right. So let's go check it out. So Dave and I were just talking about some of the differences between Taiwan and America in terms of healthcare system, and you were talking about the uh, the, the fact that the liver liver disease the liver disease in our GI wars there are more much more like over seventy percent of seventy percent of the patients are hematoma or cirrhosis. Yeah, from hepatitis B, yes. hepatitis C. Yeah. Hep B, Hep C. Yeah. But in other worlds, like. In other country, like in Japan, is mainly gastric cancer. Well, yeah, I, th I thought that was very interesting. I heard a talk at Mass General once where the, they were giving a presentation, and most of the time you have to go to Japan or Korea to really learn the gastric cancer surgery well because they just do so much of that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it's really interesting to see the difference. Is this what they mean? This is more of the night market. It's going to be like this cold. Uh, the one of the, the ice cream. No, let's let's have let's try some Taiwanese delicacy. Delicacy. Oh wow, what's this? Wow. The what shrimp? Shrimp, just shrimp. No, this all. It's an octopus. Sauce. Okay. And then boil it. Okay. And what's this? This is actually a stomach of chicken. Stomach of chicken. Okay, great. And actually, very chewy and it tastes good in the heart. Very chewy and tastes good. Okay, what's this? This is the heart. Oh, this is the chicken heart. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Very interesting. And what's this? Oh, that's uh, duck. Duck? Duck intestine. Duck intestine. Okay, great. And this is the year. This is the uh, year of the day. And this is actually. This is what? This is actually good. Very good. Very good. So I've tried this. This it's good. It's good. It's so. Very good. Yeah. This is the Yan Chu Ming Kao Zhou. A lot of people are waiting in line for it. All the air pollution right here. Okay, so. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna try some of the sweet potato. These are called di guanchos, sweet potato balls. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Good. Good. Okay. So this is fried squid. Uh, just off. The, just finished. They just finished frying it. So we're gonna give this a shot right now. Just down the scissor. Good. It has a little pepper and salt in it. So. Okay. Okay. So we're actually running a little out of time because David is still. Uh, he's still in. Are you still an intern right now? Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, he, he's still injured, so uh, it's late, but I thought I'd just ask him a couple more random questions, and if you guys want to talk to him, he's happy to answer any future questions about Taiwanese medical school and Taiwan medical system. So, can you explain the intern year? The intern year? Yeah, because it's a little bit different from in America. Intern year is a, uh, a special year in Taiwan medical student because this year you have to do the primary care of the patient mm -hmm. under the supervision of the resident and the, the doctor. Yeah. The yeah. attending doctors. And we have to go through internal medicine, surgery, and mm -hmm. OBGYN mm -hmm. and the pa pediatrics. Mm -hmm. And all those that make it more and, and can, doctor. Yeah, and can you can you prescribe medication yet? Uh, we can prescribe under the supervision of. Okay, so somebody else has to co-sign. Yes. Okay. All the time. Okay. Every time and whenever, uh, unless those very uh, easy yeah. uh, skills we can do it by ourselves, like uh, when dressing change. Okay. Or other thing, but. Most of those are under supervision of the residents. Okay. Or the dentist. And, and how is it? How is it different from? Um, what's the year before intern year called? It's a clerkship. Okay, clerkship. Yeah. How is it different from a clerkship? And the clerkship. What do you do in the clerkship? Oh, okay. You just watch and watch what they what they do, uh -huh. what they what they think, and they would teach you about how should the doctor should be thinking okay. about a disease. Or how do you approach this? Yeah. Do you write notes in clerkship? Yeah. No. No? No, no writing? We have a uh, practice okay. of writing notes. And that's actually off the chart. I see. And that's just for practice, for, okay. uh, for, for doctors, yeah. teachers to examine how, how well you are in this patient. I see. And in internship, we do have progressed now, admission notes, okay. all those notes on the chart. Okay. And actually supervised by resident and attending doctors. Okay. That's awesome. Okay, well, thank you very much, David. And, uh, and uh, actually, yeah. Yeah, so, so basically what I thought was really interesting was when I was telling my family members that I'm going to be an intern next year, they were a little confused because so in Taiwan, when you're called an intern, you're still a medical student. And in the U.S., an intern is the first year of residency. But, um, but, but basically, we were just talking. It really seems like Taiwan is advanced in their concept of, at least in the teaching hospitals, there's no longer overuse of antibiotics. And... Um, and everybody washes their hands now when they go into before. We are asked for it. Yeah. And everybody just do it because they not only the the move not only protects the patient but protects ourselves too. Yeah. Yeah. And it's very important. Yeah. It, it is. Yeah.